name is Luke, and you know what? My name, I'll go by my rank, my name is Captain Cheng, and I'm the senior, senior admin for First Hospital awesome 2. And, uh, I'm temporary prep. Nope, you're just, just the rank would be fine. Private Buchanan, and I'm the head artist for First Hospital awesome 2. Now, if I may just explain something really quickly, you see this thing here is called a TPX paintball pistol. It shoots compressed air, and when loaded, it shoots paintballs. Well, you see, um, ex First Sergeant Buchanan here thought it'd be a good idea to shoot me several times on tape. I don't know, he thought that would be quite funny or something, and now he's a private. Now, moving on! This episode is called Bad Seed. Um, Apple... Hold on a sec, Apple... You seriously forgot her name. Oh crap, what's her name? You've gotta be kidding me. What's her name? No, no, you've had enough chances. Get on your ass. Please do push-ups right now. 20 push-ups, let's oh, go! Yes, sir. Alright. Sorry about that, oh. I'll take over this one. So anyways, Babseed, the cousin of Four. our Bloom, Five. comes down from Manhattan Six. to visit the Apples for Seven. some undetermined reason. Eight. And for some reason, Nine. even though the Cutie Mark Crusaders Ten. tried to induct her into their Eleven. ranks, she turns Twelve. against them into a bully. 13. So obviously we'll have 14. a bullying episode, and 15. obviously all the connotations that go like that. In 17. other words, bullies are people like us 18. too, but sometimes 19. they do things we just don't understand, 20. blah, blah, blah. We'll have to find out. Okay, you can get it back up here now. Anything you'd like to contribute? No, sir. Okay. My prediction for the show is, as it being a bully episode, obviously it's going to have to deal with bullies. And as we all know about bullies, there's only two things that TV shows can, you know, display about them. Number one, how to deal with them, or number two, what causes them. Now, I'm kind of split on either or. I don't really know which one it's going to be, but um, it really depends on how in-depth this character is going to become. If it's just going to be a cardboard cutout bully, then obviously it's just going to be how to deal with bullies. But if it goes a little more in-depth, then... Probably it's going to get a little more into the explaining where bullies come from, but like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon are kind of the Cutie Mark Crusaders bullies already. That's correct, and they are kind of cutouts of a bully character, if you ask me. In other words, you know, we don't really know anything about them except that they're mean, and it basically stops there. And it appears that they're rich, but that's about it. I mean, Silver Spoon, Diamond Tiara, those. Yeah. Now, for the last two episodes... You know, I've been kind of giving them low scores, and believe it or not, I actually like the show. It's a very good show, but I like the show because of the storytelling, the uh, and the fact that I can connect with a lot of the characters. I understand how they feel, and they feel very lifelike to me. Like uh, the Hurricane Flourish episode when she could not keep with the other pony, keep up with the other ponies. I know that feeling. I had I struggled in high school. Everyone else was getting A's. I tried my best. I would get D's, and sometimes I'd even get F's. Most of the time I would get F's. I'd fail miserably, and I felt horrible. And it really does feel horrible. And the Applejack episode where uh, she, wouldn't, she doesn't want to accept help from other ponies, because if she accepts help, that means that she's not as good of a worker. I know that feeling, and that's why I like the show. The Cutie Mark Crusader episodes usually follow along them trying to find their purpose in life. They're children. They're... Technically full. Technically full. Well, fillies. Young fillies is what they mean. So they're uh, basically children. And uh, I am not a child. Um, it is from their point of view, their point of view viewing the world from, as children. And I can't identify with that because I am not a child. So it kind of feels like they're just dragging me along for a ride. They're trying to find the cutie mark. They don't get it. It's kind of sad. Honestly, it's really sad just watching these three children trying to find out who they are and what their purpose in life is. And at the end of the episode, they don't get it. When does it end? I really, if they don't sum this up, I'm going to be very mad. But uh, I know for a fact that they're not going to get it this episode. Um, being is because uh, you guys on Facebook are posting all your stuff. You've already cut, you know, ruined the episode just a little tiny bit for me. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, you should be so ashamed of yourselves. But, you know, if they got their cutie marks, people would be, Oh my God, they got their cutie marks. Look, it's that. Oh my God. Like, all this crap. But no, there's none of that. So I don't think they're going to get their cutie marks this one. So, yeah, I like the show for story, identifying with the characters, why do you like the show? Well, I'll have to admit I'm a little bit of a cheaper customer than you are. Honestly, 
I enjoy the show because it makes me feel happy. There's beautiful colors and it's humorous and it's just everything ends will fine and then well and the worst thing that could possibly happen is a... I mean, they get pretty, pretty close to absolutely getting screwed over and destroyed, and it's some pretty serious crap they're dealing with, but it always ends with a happy conclusion, and it just, it makes you feel happy, like there's still hope in this hopeless world, and that is why I like the show. Oh. Well, this is one problem I can just definitely say I've never had. Your too cousin many clothes. Isn't care what you're wearing. Just pick something. This Your cousin. Cousin from Manhattan. You know what would make a good impression? Being yourself. Being on time. Oh no, being on time would be good too. You got nothing to worry about, sugar cute. Y'all don't usually wear clothes, just, just go. But they do usually wear hats. Neither of you have your cutie mark. What? Well, uh Oh, this changes everything. You know your cousin is about to sleep in here. <laughs> they, that's what I like about the show right there. That's a very realistic situation right there. A dirty room. They had to do extra work to make the room dirty. I appreciate that. The other episodes can seem a, a little lazy. Hey, that's a very realistic girl's room. They had clothes on the ground. Well, I'm glad they're off to a good start. I'm, I'm, I, I just beg the question, though. They, they don't ever really wear clothes. Why does she own so many? That was a very realistic situation where she was nervous to meet someone new, her cousin, and then figures out they have something really good in common, so she wants to go and she's excited to go now. She doesn't have nothing to impress her. They have a lot in common. Look at this. Do you see her eyes? Do you see? Look at Scott. <laughs> oh my god. Magic. Yep. No, that's the conductor. Yeah, that's probably not her. I didn't know cows were allowed on trains. Remember? Oh, yeah. Bab C is her name. Oh, there she is. Well, she doesn't really look like a bully. Whoa, her voice. She sounds almost like a guy. Almost, yeah. Oh, we're so mean making fun of the bully. Really? I've never been on a float before. we got a really big surprise for you. Yeah, a surprise? Wow, she oh, sounds so voice. New York and <laughs> Oh, she she's shy that she doesn't have her cutie mark. Only members. But we're always looking to expand and you seem like the perfect candidate. Oh, she she's shy. Well, yeah, since you don't have a cutie mark at all. Oh, it's just me or she's bigger than everyone else. Dad. I don't know. I'd like to show you just some of the highlights of our clubhouse should you choose to join us. She just looks really confused. This is where we eat our lunch. Sometimes we stand here and think of great ideas. Yeah, uh. She seems very insecure, uh, but no, she more looks like, wow, you guys are lame. Oh, uh, I, I don't get that. She's from Manhattan. If we want to impress her, we need to really wow her. Oh, they're just going to make it worse. Hmm. No. <gasps> the float! She can ride with us on our summer harvest train float. That's perfect. This really is a good So far, she doesn't seem to exhibit anything bullyish. Nope. She seems to be very uh, content or... 
curious. Wow. That's really nice of them. They're being very nice. Oh my god. What are you even doing here? This is her farm. Yeah, get off my property. <laughs> It's a pumpkin, stupid. More like a lane tin. <laughs> oh, that was so good. That was funny. Oh, God. She's my cousin, but she's from Manhattan. Manhattan, huh? Yeah, this is gonna get ugly. I guess you have that going for you. Suppose you're gonna join their little club. What's it called? The Cutie Mark Crusaders. Dur -dur. <laughs> More like the cutie mop cry babies. <laughs> yeah, totally go to the side that's not standing up for you. Well, actually, that's usually what people do. There's some deep psychological problems here. Oh, yeah? Where there's more where that came from. Check this out. What the heck, man? What the hell? Well, at the same time, I guess we should have seen it coming. And that. Oh! That much weight on that little wheel? That's a structural problem, but still, that's... Wow, what a... What a... Oh my god. Nothing. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. A war has been started. Wow. It's not snitching. Yes, it is. They will solve this problem themselves. Why do I feel like crying? Oh. <laughs> How's that funny? Oh, my ear. That's sad. How's that funny? Look at how sad they are. You laughed at them. I'm sorry. What are we going to do? We're going to build a new float. But then they're just gonna smash it. Yep, so there we go. The voice of reason. Not tattletailing. She has problems, and you need adult help. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thievery. Hey, no kidding. It's a pretty upbeat song for the problem. Oh. Oh my god. Movie theater. Shh. What the hell kind of movie is this? The older ones. Oh my what? god. Oh. Oh my god. What the heck was that? <laughs> Wow, this, this is one of the songs that like has a chorus, or a refrain on it. And a repeat of use of, uh... Aww. Why, yes. Why indeed. You saw her transformation, you should know. No, no, I... Why does she act like it, though? There has to be a reason. And if they don't expose it on me, they're that. Aww, they're wet now. Applejack should be more observant. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Wrecking my property! Uncool.
and now it's mine. And mine. Okay, those two cannot fight at all. They should definitely get into a scruffle. Come on, you can take this them. This is on Applejack's property. This I know. Apple right? family property. Oh, okay. And an alteration has been made. <laughs> yeah, it's because she doesn't have a cutie mark that she's um she's insecure. She's insecure. Insecure. Oh no. Oh. You're not helping the crybaby image. Yes, you do. No! Rarity? No! See, this is the this is the kid Rarity? mentality that I'm talking about. No! Come on, guys, logic. No, if I was in their situation, we'd stand us ourselves. Counterattack! Come on! How are we gonna do that? Revenge! Revenge solves all problems. Yay! See, the summer harvest parade. Hold on. Uh oh. Perfect. Oh, bad. No, no. Perfect. No, 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 no. no. About time to start taking some action. Wow. Not me, it's that one. Are those from the carousel we take? Cube corner. They use it for decorating cakes. That must be what Rarity uses on her emergency edible boots. The cares of man for the moving Emergency edible boots. <laughs> Did you bring the thing from the place? What's that? Rarity Smith's kitchen tamer. What's that for? What are you guys doing? It's called revenge. Sweetie Belle is being the uh, voice of reason here. Let's just tell Applejack. I think we've established it several times that that is not what we're going to do. They're going to do something revenge-like. And it'll be much more entertaining. Imagine how boring that'd be if they just went to Applejack. Yeah. And See, they could have done... This is why I like the show. Look at this. Look at all this extra artwork that they're doing. The summer sun celebration. They're going to have to design so many floats. They're going to have to design all these things. Oh, no. No, that's not a key mark. Uh, they're pretty good at this, though, I must yeah. say. <laughs> Look at all this effort being put into it. I can enjoy and I can appreciate this. Oh, it's it's gonna be. It has a steering wheel. Is this it? I think. Where it go? Why? Why do you? Why is she still sparkly? Because she still has the stuff on her. Why would they continue? Look at Pinky. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened to gotta share, gotta care, Pinky? Gotta share the scent. Wow. Oh, I get it. It's a summer harvest. Wow. No, 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 no. It's not. Please, just don't break it. It's not smashing. Ah, oh, reverse psychology. This is incredibly complex. Wow, very intricate for um, children. children. <laughs> yeah. And it runs. Wait, so they have motors. What are they I have think, motors? I I think the whole thing's being run by the timer, I'm not sure. I don't think so. It had a lot of gear. <laughs> That's not our name. Oh no, they took our See? What are they doing? Just outsmart the bullies. That's how you deal with them. I don't know what's going to happen if this gets awesome. Applejack, come on, you can see through that. Nope. 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 Making bags feel so special. 
you know, after all the heartache she's been having in Manhattan. Heartache? Well, I didn't say nothing because I didn't want her to feel singled out. But there's been some bullies back in Manhattan just been teasing her to pieces for her black friend. Did you get teased? Bullies? Oh, that was quick. the farm to get away from all her problems back home. I'm so proud of y'all. You done a good deed. You know, she totally knows what's going on, but just guilted them. So that's why she jumped in when Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon started giving us a hard time. What? She didn't want to be bully like at home, so she decided to be a bully instead. Oh, she explained it for me. Oh no, not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> Soon though. Okay, what, whatever, what's the plan here? It has something to do with the mud they showed us. A little young to be driving. <laughs> yeah, that thing's going kind of fast. Should be done by now. Oh my god. I wonder what's gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna explode. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, the steering's gonna fail? Yep, or something like that. I thought it was gonna explode. Oh yeah, the steering's gonna fail. See, so, yeah, I told you it had something to do with the mud. <laughs> okay, that was, that was really good. That got me. It was a lame joke, but that totally got me. I guess they do have motors. They do have motors. So they, they use candles. Is Pinky Bar driving the salad mobile? <laughs> Actually made out of salad. That is awesome. Oh, my God. oh that was. I got me. Oh my God. Oh, my stomach. Oh. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, now oh, it's getting worse. God. Maybe we'll get our cutie marks and stupidest ideas of all time. Stupidest ideas of all time. Are y'all okay? Yeah, we're fine. It's a nice looking apple, though. All right, everybody's together, so we can learn a lesson now. Don't tell the truth, you have things going for you. No, tell the truth. You pushed me out just when the float was about to head into the lake. Except we were the reason it was headed into the lake. <laughs> we booby trapped the float. See, look, they have motors see, and no running water. You back for being a big bully. No, wait, no, they have running water. I remember the cakes washing his hooves. They're just out of far. I don't know, lesson time. To avoid getting picked on in Ponyville. But by then, we were the ones being bullies. And oh, why does life have to be so ironic? You are not even that much of a bully. She was being the bully. We're sorry. You shouldn't be sorry. She should say sorry. With booba trapping a car and making a drive over a cliff. You know, this all could have been avoided if y'all just came to me in the very beginning. That's what I kept on saying. So, can we start over? Definitely. Yeah. Yay! Alright, here's the uh, initiation. Alright, go on. Go on, Scootaloo. We 
Amiga! Oh, yes, here. And fellow cutie mark crusader. You are solemnly sworn in here this day in witness of your fellow sisters. Now you gotta prick your hoof and then put it all together. Capazades! <laughs> about the teasing back home. Good. And if you have any problems, we've got your back too. You hear? So you're leaving, huh? Well, great. Now we're stuck here with these lame blank blanks. This is the decision point. Oh, and well. That's not how you talk to my friends. Friends? Yeah. You got a problem with them? Well, I, I do. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Tell your mothers about your bad attitudes. Oh. They are definitely afraid of their mother. Perhaps that has, uh. That's, that's why they're being so mean, because they're mistreated by their mother. Maybe. No. no. <laughs> and there goes the Furfu train. Well, just to start off this discussion, I'll have to say I'm pretty pleased with the episode, but I'm usually pleased with the episodes. Um, for the most part, I just thought, you know, it's a pretty good formula. Maybe it's not anything that new that we've never seen before, but it's still, you know, a reiteration of a good and chosen topic. You know, bullies, they are troubles that everybody faces, and you have to deal with them in your own special ways. I do appreciate the fact that they actually went in this time and actually explained. I mean, just just take this into perspective. That, you know, Bab's got more explanation than, what was that guy's name? Evil King Sombra. Sombra, you know, she has more explanation than... And Sombra got an entire hour-length yeah, episode. Yeah, and we whatever. don't know anything about it. But at least with her, we can, oh, she was bullied, and she's from Manhattan, and it doesn't seem like she has many friends back there. And it's like, you can kind of feel pity for her, but at the same time, you know, she's being a bully. So it's like, mm -hmm. but I think it was a pretty good conclusion at the end where at least she turned over. I, I honestly thought it was just going to end with, you know, and well, that's why we now know how to deal with bullies. And she was just going to still be on the dark side. But I'm glad she had a chance to come over. What did you think? Honestly, you know, at the beginning, I was like, I don't like Cutie Mark Crusader episodes. This one is a good episode. Good episode. Good episode. It. You know, I, I was confused. I was wondering, you know, what's going to happen? I'm, what's going to happen? But it explained it. It explained it. I was curious. I wanted to know what the problem was. And I couldn't leave if I wanted to. If I, you know, cut the episode in half and leave, I couldn't because I would want to know what would happen. It just kept bringing back points that I really didn't like. I mean, Bab Seed at first was, you know, shy. Obviously insecure about her cutie mark. But it wasn't like, I'm insecure. It's subtle. It's realistic. She, you know, problem with the cutie mark, but, you know, all of the, the cutie mark crusaders also don't have the cutie mark, too, so they should be connecting well, but for some reason they did not. And I guess there was a little bit of a... She didn't know what to do. She got bullied, and so I guess natural reaction was to become a bully as to not be a bully. I... It sounds off, but this does make sense. I mean, when I was a kid, I did roll with the um, cool kids for a little while. And that's actually, actually, how I found My Little Pony. Um, there's these, um, I don't want to call them nerds. That's mean. But I was a mean guy. I, would, I was a teacher's aide. And these kids, you're allowed to go on the computer, do stuff after it's class. Kids were watching a My Little Pony episode. And I was walking by, you know, with the teacher's papers, and I looked over, I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? What is this? Right? And they looked back, and I started making fun of them. And uh, all three of them. And there's three of them, actually. There's three of them. And um, they came up. They stood up. They stood, paused their video, stood up, and looked at me straight in the eye. All of them, 
like almost half my size, they're freshmen, and they said, you just don't understand, okay? And I sat down, kept watching their video. I was taken back because no one had ever stood up to me. I went home and I watched the episode. That's, and now he's here today. And now here I am. Here I am. After about episode four, I went there and I went to, I guess, the leader of the three, the most bronyish leader of the three. And I came up to him, put my hand on his shoulder, and he was like scared because <laughs> none of his friends were around. He thought I was going to punch him straight in the face. He was scared. And I went, bro, huff. And I'm assuming this is what he did. Yes. Okay. His face went from a terrified, like, please don't hurt me, to a, oh, f no freaking, oh, that's so awesome, all. Oh. And then we would have discussions on uh, uh, best pony, um, best, or discussions after the episodes. And, you know, the other, the other teacher aide turned against me, but um, I was bigger than the other teacher aide. So I would protect these three smaller freshmen from just the generalized being picked on for being a freshman and being bronies. No one really picked on them after that. So, happy story. I like this episode. It was a good episode. Good conclusion. It kept me wondering what was going on, but it wasn't kept me wondering what's going on because it didn't make any sense. It made sense, and it's understandable. Diamond Tiara and uh, Silver Spoon got what they deserved in a very conventional, or I'm sorry, very unconventional way. You know, telling your mother on you. I thought they were, they were going to get kicked or hurt. No, I thought she was just going like, you know, bang our hooves together or something, but okay. Way to use the lesson you learned. Very good. Well, I'm actually, to be honest with you, I'm quite glad that you've actually liked one of the episodes for once. I was starting to get a little doubts about your loyalty, and I'm pretty sure some of the people were starting to think you were just going to be the new Simon, but it's good to see that you've actually, you know, lightened up a little and can actually enjoy something. Yeah. On the lines of that, can I have my rank back? Well, all right, I think it's been long enough. I think you've suffered enough. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Remember, I can take it away. All right. In my opinion, the episode, like I've always said, is all the good stuff we are expecting and constantly get. However, as opposed to the overjoyish, just happily, just crazily happy review that you gave it, my problem remains the same problem that I had with the Pinkie Pie episode. I don't think I stated it, but I mean, it, I don't really think I can blame them because they have 22 minutes to wrap this story up. But, you know, as you can kind of see, things kind of seem like they run to one, they run to one, they run to one very quickly. Once again, I don't really think I can dock them for it, but I think... It flowed okay. It flowed okay. It was not, it was not bad. I just thought it could be better. So, with that said, I think it deserves a 9 out of 10. It's a pretty high rating, man. I think it's pretty generous. Right. Okay, well, now first sergeant. What was your rating on that episode? Well, it was a good story. Animation was superb. The amount of effort that went into the animation was superb. The, the variety of floats, they didn't have to draw that. They could have done something else. They could have done something cheaper. It didn't involve as many, many things. Animation was flawless, plot was believable, things flowed well, voice acting, of course, was always great. And unlike every other Cutie Mark episode, Cutie Mark Crusader episodes, this one I actually could identify with, which was very, very unexpected. I give it 10 out of 10. Wow. Yes. You see, I was very pleased. Yeah. I wasn't. There wasn't a single thing about the episode that I didn't like. Hmm. Well, this is quite strange. This is a strange feeling. One AP admin Cole Meek, aka Clusterbomb, had this to say. If I may just interject this really quickly, just want to say, very good project, by the way. It's a very impressive Halo gun that you've constructed. Moving on. According to him, episode 4 stood out to me for many reasons, but the biggest being that it had a message both children and adults can relate with. Musically enjoyable and with a great story slash message to be told. I was extremely pleased for it to tackle the concept of bullying was kind of surprising, and I was content with how it was resolved. Overall, I rate ep season 3, episode 4, um... 9 out of 10 for portraying the concept realistically and because the Cutie Mark Crusaders acted realistically. One AP admin Nathan Skeed, aka Saber, said, This episode was pretty great. Animation, as per usual, was great. The plot was actually good in this one. And I love all the references they put in. The song, the lesson that they taught was great too. One that was very close to me. 
personally, overall, 9 out of 10 with a um, very happy face. So, According to 1AP admin Trey Reynolds, aka Blue Cord, as bronies, it is easy to think that each episode is made with us in mind. We have this belief that we are the only audience for the show, and that we should be the only target of it. The truth, however, is that this is a show for children. And when the production crew makes an episode for the children, who like the show along with us, it truly shines, just like the Golden Sweetie Belle in this episode. The voice actresses of the Cutie Mark Crusaders are in top form because the writers here are doing even better than the vocal cast at giving the characters motivation. Watching C Sweetie Belle cry like she did was not only heartbreaking, it was poignant. This is an episode that not only makes me glad and proud to call myself a brony, but also makes me want to live up to the social ideology that I identify with. To bring everything into totality, I give the show a good, strong 9 out of 10. Well, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next week when we review My Little Pony Season 3, Episode 5. And until next time, keep calm and brony on! Pepe! Diet Coke! <laughs> Diet Coke! <laughs> Damn it, you have one job!